Hi, John here with Realtruck.com. Today I want to show you how to install leather seat covers. Here we've got our seat covers all out of the box and laid out. Have uh, got them all organized as to which ones are front and back. We're going to do the back first. So when you get to the back, the first thing you want to do is, is to fold up the bottom. And because we're going to put the bottom one on first. So once you have that folded up, then you can take the bottom cover and you're going to slide it over the top of your, of your bottom of your seat. Now, keep in mind, guys, that when you're doing this, these things are designed to be very, very tight going on here. So now, once you get these mostly on there, then what you're going to do is to let this down because we need to put this through there. Make sure that when you do this, that your seat belts are not trapped underneath your seat cover. We'll raise this back up and get down here and get a hold of that part that we just pushed through the back. And what we're going to do is pull this down really tight. Once you've got that stretched down there pretty well, the next thing is to start putting this together. I usually like to start right here in the middle. You can see there, these are a real nice, good looking fit. And uh, this stuff looks factory in here, guys. Do this side the same way we did the other side. And uh, just take it and slide it over. I don't know if you guys can see this in the camera, but right here, these are hooks that are put in here so you can install a car seat in the back of your truck. So you want to make sure that you put your seat cover down underneath those for two reasons. One, so that you still have access to that hook. And two, because it won't go over the top. If you try to put it over the top, you're going to end up fighting with it for a long time. And this one, it's better to start at the end. That's the bottom on this side. So we'll fold this back down, take a look. As you can see, it looks just as nice as the other side. Before we put our seat backs on, one of the things we need to do is to remove our headrest. And it's really an easy process to remove the headrest. All you need is some type of a little uh, pick or something like this. And right in the bottoms of these places where the headrests slide into, there's a couple of holes in there. You just push in on that and that will allow that headrest to slide up. Just like that. And you can just pull it right out of there. All right, we've got our headrest off. So now we need to install the back of our seat cover. And what we're going to do is we're just going to do the same thing as we did with the bottoms. We're going to slide it right down over the top of the seat. Now, just so you know, one of the things you're going to want to do to give yourself a little more space back here in the back is to make sure that the seat bottom is up because it'll pull the back away from the, the wall of the truck and give you a little more room to get the seat covered down inside here. One of the things to keep in mind is, is that you might have to smash this headrest down a little bit. It's not a big deal. It's got foam rubber inside of it. It will re-expand and 
regain its shape just fine. Pull this over and then this actually flips up and slides inside that plastic piece. Okay, so we got our cover on our headrest so now it's just a matter of putting it back in and it's very simple to put it back in. You stick it up on there and give her a little click down and then it's there you go and it's just that simple. So we've got this seat completed now we're going to go ahead and finish up that side and then we'll have this whole back done and we can get started on the front. So we're going to put our back cover on this side and what we need to do is make sure that we get it over the or under the seat belt actually. We'll take that off. We'll pull this up here like so and then what we want to do is lift our backs the bottom of our seat up here to get some more space along the back edge so we can tuck this down and under. Okay, make sure once you get your seat cover pulled down to where the top of it is up against where your headrest normally rides to go ahead and take your tabs where your, where your headrest plugs into and it's real easy just push the, uh, the seat cover underneath those tabs and uh, then, you, then it'll be out of the way for putting your headrest back in. Okay guys, we've got the uh, back of our seat cover on. We got it all in place now. So the next uh, step of our process is to uh, put our cover on our cup holder armrest here. And it works just like the rest of the seat covers where you just slide it over. And then if you remember up on the top where we did the headrest slots, it's kind of the same thing with this part here what we're going to do is we're just going to tuck it up underneath and then uh, the covers come with this handy little tool that you can use to help to get that up underneath there We got the back all done. It's looking really nice. Well, now we're going to do something with these cloth front seats. So we're going to go ahead and put our covers onto our front and we'll start by doing the bottom first. So let's get these front ones done. Looking good. Now these front ones are pretty simple, easy stuff. They just pretty much slip on just like slip, like slip covers on your couch or your chair or something like that in your house. So that's uh, pretty easy way to do it. Now these strings here, which we're going to use to pull this thing tight, what we want to do with these is don't be so concerned about where they go. We just want to find a comfortable route for them. Uh, usually I like to get them on the outside of the seat belt so I can get them down underneath it and pull them pull around on the bottom. And then this piece we're just going to tuck it underneath the seat back. And we're just going to feed this back through here. Got a couple of straps attached to the front. And we want to run those through to the back, but just kind of make sure when you're running those through there that you don't put them in any place that's going to interfere with your seat slide re release lever.
first thing we need to do to do the back of our front seat is remove our headrest. And to do that, you just push in on these two buttons right here and just pull it right out. And then we'll get that off and out of our way. Then we'll just take our cover for the seat back, slide it over the top of the seat. We'll tuck this underneath our mounts for our headrest. Same thing on both of them. Once we get everything all done at the top, then we'll pull this flap through. Stick the Velcro right to that carpeted piece. Now we'll take these hooks that The easiest way to do the headrest, guys, is to put it back on. As you can see, we've got all of our seat covers onto the truck, and uh, they look pretty good, so they get a nice factory look to them. Doesn't even look like seat covers on here, as you can see. It looks like, like OE factory seats, which is awesome. So uh, I think the owner of this truck's gonna be really pleased with this install. And uh, now you can see how to install seat covers onto your 2014 Chevy Silverado. So remember, until next time, happy motoring.